Hey everybody, good morning on this, well, Monday morning. I think it's morning whenever you watch it. And uh, we'd like to take a look at our first reading from the liturgy. It's from Leviticus, reading one, and deals with the commandments. The Lord said to Moses, speak to the whole assembly of the children of Israel and tell them, be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall not steal, you shall not lie or speak falsely to one another. You shall not swear falsely by my name, thus profane the name of the Lord your God. You shall not defraud or rob your neighbor. You shall not withhold overnight the wages of your day laborer. You shall not curse the deaf. You shall fear God. And I can go on further with that, but you get the idea. These commandments, sometimes we, too many people feel they are really a hindrance, a restriction, denying our freedom, whose aim is to take away our happiness. It's just the opposite. I'm a Sam Cooke fan. Not overly, but I like Sam Cooke. And again, aging myself. A beautiful voice. In fact, they had the top singers, and he was voted, I think, in the top five, I think, of, of all time singers. He had a beautiful voice, and one of his songs he sang was uh, Wonderful World, or What a Wonderful World it Would, it would Be. Hmm? Nice tune. Check it out on YouTube if you don't have it. Sam Cooke, What a Wonderful World. And I like to say, I think to myself, the, if, if we follow the Ten Commandments, what a wonderful world it would be. We wouldn't take away our happiness. It would add to it. Imagine if we would live by the Ten Commandments, you don't have to worry about locking your doors. You don't have to worry about, you could walk at night, you could walk in the city at night without fearing, your, fearing for your life or getting robbed, getting mugged. Let's face all these things take away our freedom, take away our happiness, living this anxiety. We don't trust each other. Hmm? So imagine if we follow the commandments, we honor God and honor each other, love one another. It, it's not robbing, it's adding. What a wonderful world it would be. You ever speak to some elderly people, I'm in that age, but even older than myself, who perhaps grew up in New York City, and remember a different New York. He said, you could walk in New York at night, go on the subway at night. Now, you, I'm, I'd be afraid to go out during the daytime. But living in Bellevue, that's not a <laughs> problem for me. But you see what I'm saying? When you, break, when you don't live by God's laws, everything falls into chaos. So they're not to hurt or harm us, but they're to, to bless us because we follow his commandments. What a wonderful world this would be. God bless you.